Assalamu alaikum. Hello kids. We learned the story of Prophet Hud alayhi salam in the last episode. Inshallah, today we are going to learn about a new prophet, Prophet Salah alayhi salam. The story of Prophet Salah alayhi salam is linked to the famous story of the she-camel of God. He used to preach to the people of Thamud. Let us start the story. Bismillah. The story of Prophet Salah alayhi salam. In the last episode, we saw the story of Prophet Hud alayhi salam. Prophet Hud alayhi salam preached to the people of Ad who had become very arrogant and worshipped idols. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed the city of Ad because of their sins. After many years, they were succeeded by the tribe of Thamud. The people of Thamud were very hard working. They were excellent craftsmen as well. They built beautiful houses on top of mountains that surrounded their city. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed their lands to become fertile and it gave them abundant crops. But the people soon started forgetting about the blessings they received from God. They started getting arrogant and proud. The rich among them stopped worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and started worshipping the idols instead. This continued for many years and after a few generations, most of the people in Thamud had become idol worshippers. Idol worshipping was now rooted deeply in the minds of the Thamud people. It was during this time that Prophet Salah alayhi salam lived among them. Prophet Salah alayhi salam was a good and wise person. The people loved and respected him for his wisdom and qualities. Salah alayhi salam was chosen as Allah's messenger. He was not afraid of anyone except Allah, the Great and Almighty. He prayed to Allah without fearing anyone. The Prophet tried to show the people of Thamud the right path by speaking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One day, as usual, the members of the tribe gathered around the rock on top of the mountain for worship. The men worshipped the rock for a long time. When their sons saw this, they started worshipping the rock as well. The Prophet was passing by that day when he saw the people worshipping this idol. He was sad when he saw this. He approached them and said, Oh my people, please serve Allah, the one and only true God. Then one of them said, Why do you ask us to pray to Allah alone? Because he has created you, said the Prophet. He gave you everything, the sun, the moon, the mountains, the seas, everything that you see around. One of them had an idea, and he came forward. God is the true God, then show us a miracle, he said. Show us a miracle, and we'll believe you. The people gathered there, agreed with this priest. They needed proof. Then, a rich man came forward and said, Ask your Lord to make a living she-camel out of that rock. Then another chief came forward and said, And make the camel pregnant too, he laughed. The people laughed when they heard this. They knew the prophet was defeated, as they were sure he couldn't show them the proof. Salih alayhi salam thought for a while and replied, If Allah delivers this miracle, do you promise to believe in Allah as the one true God? Will you accept that I am his messenger? Yes they answered. The Prophet then prayed to Allah to grant them their request. It was a miracle. There was the sound of a huge thunder and the rock broke apart. And there it was, a beautiful she-camel standing amidst the rocks. Ha ha! It was huge! So huge that people rubbed their eyes to make sure they were not dreaming. Then the people noticed that the she-camel was pregnant too. They just couldn't believe their eyes. The rich, the poor, the chiefs of the tribe 
just stood there looking at the camel. They were shocked to see this miracle. Then the Prophet prostrated before the camel to show his respect. It was Allah who brought the she-camel out of the rock with his glory. When the people saw this, they too prostrated before the camel. They now believed in the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They had seen a great sign before their eyes. What the Prophet said was true, they said. Allah is the one true God. But even now, the number of believers were very few. The minds of others were still corrupted. They refused to believe on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They thought the Prophet was using one of his tricks to make the people believe. The she-camel became the symbol of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After three days, the she-camel gave birth to a lovely young he-camel. The young one followed his mother wherever she went. It walked behind its mother calmly, and the mother looked after him fondly. Very soon, the she-camel and her son became symbols for affection and mercy. When the people of the tribe saw it, they said, This is Salah's she-camel. Then the Prophet said to his people, O oh my people, worship Allah. There is no other God but Him. This is a clear sign from your Lord. This she-camel is a sign for you. So leave her to graze on Allah's earth. Be careful not to hurt it. If you do that, then Allah will punish you. Days passed, and the she-camel grazed in the green pastures of Thamud. It ate the plants from the valley and drank water from the well. It so happened that there was only one well in the entirety of Thamud. The entire population of Thamud depended on this well for water. The she-camel drank water from this well as well, but it was so huge that it drank lots and lots of water. On some days, the camel drank all of the water in the well, leaving it dry. Because of its huge size, people were afraid to go near the well when the camel was drinking water. They complained to the Prophet about this, and the Prophet said he will find a solution. When its young camel was hungry, the she-camel gave him her milk. The milk was very thick, and the people's mouth watered when they saw the milk. They hurried to the Prophet. The camel's milk may be blessed, they said to him. Its milk would be enough for hundreds of families. The baby camel is not going to have all of it. So please, let us have some of the she-camel's milk, they requested. The Prophet thought for a while. And he said that they were allowed to have the milk of the camel by Allah's grace. However, he asked them to share the water with the camel. They soon arrived at an agreement. It was like this. On the second day, the camel would feed her young one. And the people could draw water from the well. It was a win-win situation for all. The camel gave plenty of milk and it covered the needs of entire Thamud. At first, the people were happy and content, but soon the disbelievers started raising their voices. They hated the Prophet for turning people away from their idols, and their hatred now turned toward the blessed she-camel. Some of the chiefs were against the Prophet too. They knew that the Prophet was a danger to their beliefs. They couldn't stand the Prophet no more, so one night, they hatched a plot to kill the poor she-camel. They took the help of their wives to convince nine strong men. These nine men agreed to kill the she-camel and her calf. They decided to kill the camel the next day. On the next day, these nine men observed the camel closely. The camel, as usual, came to the well for drinking water. When it started drinking water, one of the men shot an arrow at its leg. The camel cried out loudly and it started to run, but the poor animal couldn't because of the arrow stuck in its leg. The men roared and ran toward the camel. 
they took out their sword and struck its other leg. The poor animal fell down crying. Then these evil men used their swords and spears to kill this poor camel. When the disbelievers saw that the camel was dead, they jumped up and down with joy. They cheered the men with songs and poetry. They started celebrating, not knowing that they had destroyed the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the Prophet saw this, he was heartbroken. Enjoy life for three more days, for the God is sending his punishment, he shouted to the evil men who were dancing with joy. <laughs> Why three days? they asked. Ask your God to punish us today, they said arrogantly. The Prophet once again tried pleading with them. My people, why do you follow the evil ways? Seek forgiveness from Allah so that you may receive his mercy. But they didn't listen to him and continued with their celebrations. That night, these evil men plotted to kill the Prophet as well. But Allah warned the Prophet and asked him to get away from Thamud. Heavy-hearted, they left the land of Thamud. As the Prophet warned, it was the day of punishment. The evil men who killed the she-camel and all other disbelievers stayed inside their homes. They thought their homes, made of rocks and stones, would protect them from the punishment. Suddenly, thunderbolts appeared out of nowhere and there were severe earthquakes as well. The land was violently shaken, killing every man and animal living in Thamud. All the disbelievers in Thamud were struck dead at the same time. The earthquake destroyed everything. The idols they worshipped could not save their lives. As for Prophet Saleh and his followers, they were saved because they had left the city. The Prophet continued to preach for a long time in different lands. God continues to send clear guidance, but disbelievers choose to ignore them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful and the most forgiving. Did you like the story, kids? If you liked the video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and stay updated on all our videos. Please tell your friends about our channel as well. Don't miss our next episode. It is the story of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. That's all for today. Goodbye.